All right, today I'm gonna show you how to make another broadhead. Of course, um, what you're gonna need is a handheld pencil sharpener, a mini screwdriver. I'm using a flathead just because I don't strip it out, and safety goggles, well, safety glasses, because you don't want to cut yourself or anything. But no, this isn't stupid. It's just for you not to get cut. Okay. All right. You're also gonna need a super glue and an old dart, like I got one. Okay. So here it is. It's one of my old ones. I had a broadhead on it, but it fell off. I had hot glue on it. It doesn't hold as good as super glue. You might think that hot glue would hold better, but no. Slips right off of the thing. So if you did want it super glue, all you have to do is just peel it. When you get through peeling, okay, so I'm through peeling it off. All right, I can't really see in these, but it's gonna have to do. I'll take care of it a little bit here. Let's see more better. Um, take your mini screwdriver and your thing. You want to loosen the screw. Take the screw out. The razor comes right out. It's real sharp. So, we'll get started. You're also going to need tape, scissors, sticky note if you want to make a new cone, and another knife. But you're also going to need any type of plier, any type of pliers you can use. There's regular pliers where you can use new knives. But hold on. But yeah, here's the pliers that I'm using. I'm using these because they can hold stronger. Yeah, you want to take it. Want to take your knife and you can just start cutting if you want. I mean, the ways you can cut it is you can like cut it like that. You can have a broadhead like that, and then you can cut it another way like that, and you'll have a diamond shaped broadhead. But yeah, there's different ways you can make it like this. Just do that. Take your pliers. And just take them, clamp them, and like take your knife, and you can start cutting it and like making it weaker, and then you can start pulling it off. But yeah, we'll do that. All right, I broke off a piece like that, slanted, and now all you want to do is cut another slant. But like a kind of like a rhombus shape because you want it like a diamond. Yeah, here it is. I have to sand it down to where it. to where it can be like a diamond shape. Alright, put it on the thing. All you want to do is take the knife and just shape it down to point. Take it, just keep shaving it to where it does that. It slopes down to the Broadhead. Take that out real quick. I didn't glue it or anything yet. Yeah. That's all you want to do. Just put dart back in there. 
This is why I told you you need a tape, because if you made it too, if you made too big of a split, actually, you know what, we can just do this. Hold on, guys, I gotta fix mine up. Alright, so this is why I told you you need to wear glasses. I was trying to cut it. It popped up and it hit me right here. And, uh, it hurt. But, yeah. You want to take your tape. This is the only reason why you need tape. You don't need it for any other reason. Unless you're putting the cone on. Yeah, just tape it. And this isn't really strong tape, it's just as long as it's strong enough that it will hold the dart up the rock head. But take your ship of blue. This. Yeah. Hey, can I get those spares? Yeah. Why you got it? I got this one. So I don't. It, these, this, uh, razors done popped up and hit me in the eye. <coughs> Manufactured there. That's kind of pretty good. Just Come on. how you like that broadhead. Hey, you got any uh, extra couple bucks I can borrow? Right, y'all? Alright, guys. Uh, got the dart finished. And we're gonna target shoot. Alright, so here's the target shoot. It's beast. That is beast. Except the broadhead went all the way in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Peace out.